a new tier 8 premium vehicle. That always sounds intriguing, and the STG Guard is no exception. Its flamboyant exterior leaves no one indifferent. But what lies beneath this shining appearance? Let's see. The first thing you need to know about the STG. It's a Soviet medium tank. Naturally, when this topic arises, everyone immediately remembers the Object 416, until the moment when you see them side by side. Yep. It's like comparing a Beetle to a Bugatti. The difference is obvious. But let's not draw hasty conclusions. There are some similarities after all. Let's begin with the obvious one. A turret located in the back of the hull has an impact on the gameplay of any vehicle, be it the Object 416, STG, or some German. Every turn becomes more dangerous, but you can adjust to it. What's worse is the limit it imposes on aiming angles for the gun. The max depression angle of the guard is 6 degrees. It's not the worst value among Tier 8 MTs. However, it will be difficult to play your turret in hills, which is strange because the guard's turret is quite well armoured. The hemispherical shape results in a relative armour thickness of 210 mm. In the mantlet, this parameter may reach up to 400 mm. These numbers might allow the guard to feel at home when fighting against other Tier 8 MTs and some HTs, but there's a catch. The driver's cupola. The armour thickness here is only 130 mm. Needless to say that skillful and precise enemies will get to know the guard's driver better than the KV-5's radio operator. The relative armor of the hull is slightly better than the cupola, but it's still quite mediocre. Both the top and lower armor plates can withstand only the attacks from Tier 6 vehicles, and not even all of them. To sum it up, the STG is not very suitable for absorbing damage. The turret can block some shots, but you need to put some effort in. When playing on the guard, it is better to use the good old method of durability preservation, hiding. The STG has good concealment. The low silhouette allows it to hide in bushes, and the adequate dynamics can get you there in time. No, it's not the fastest tank. There are faster medium tanks. There are slower ones as well. You can say that by this parameter, the STG is as average as can be. A paradox, huh? Average dynamics, average armor, medium tank. Why should you base your playstyle on concealment and range then? The answer lies in the guard's gun. Soviet guns are known for their modest sniping capabilities, to put it mildly. But the STG is another story. The dispersion is 0.32 at 100 meters. Among all Tier 8 medium tanks, only the two Panthers have better parameters. And it's the best dispersion value among all Soviet medium tanks. The aiming time is 2.4 seconds. The rate of fire is poor, but the base shell penetration is excellent. 212 millimeters. This Soviet gun allows you to play the sniper. And not a typical one. Take a look at these numbers. What do you see? Normal damage for a medium tank, right. Now take a look at the guard. 390 per shot. It's the best result among tier 8 medium tanks. Even among the heavies, the guard is behind only the defender by damage per shot. Some have the same, but only the defender has a higher value. Now, everything falls into place. The guard isn't a typical medium tank as we usually perceive them. It's not versatile. It provides support. The dynamics and armor don't allow the STG to be cocky, while the gun parameters clearly indicate your place in battle. It's a medium range vehicle due to the accuracy, penetration, and damage per shot. Don't think that you're a TD, though. You're still a medium tank. 
but in battle, the guard should stick closer to the second line. Its speed will allow it to take up a correct position. The good concealment will hide it, and the view range of 370 meters won't let you forget that you should be a team player. At the beginning of a battle, take up a position, hide, and make use of your gun's potential. Follow the combat situation, move from cover to cover behind your allies, and be active at the end. If your team is winning, it's time to exchange some HP for damage at an advantageous rate. The high damage per shot will help you with this. If your team is losing, assist with the defense. The same 390 damage per shot can make a difference. Remember that the main advantage of the guard is its gun. Use it wisely. And don't forget, looks can be deceiving. Good luck in battle.